Here's some well plans of the deep water horizon. Tells you right there if you could read that. And most importantly, the BOP stack. 54 feet tall. That's important to know. I'm going to show you how uh, they tried it. Well, here's some interesting things. Right here, this is uh, 1,044 feet. World's record for deepest scuba dive. So, uh, all you people who think you could go down there and work on that thing, I don't think so. Okay. Check this out. This here represents the BOP, the bottom of the sea. 54 feet high. Simple enough. This represents their dome or whatever. Even though there's a square. They had a way, way small outlet, a hose or something. So, it's hard to tell what they're really doing, but if this was 40 feet tall and the BOP was 54 feet tall uh, that's a lot of room left before you even touch the bottom there's no way you're going to cap that but i seen a picture where they try to lay it over the leak or something and uh, let's see an experiment on that here's the experiment I'm talking funny because I got a hose in my mouth Anyways, here's the bell. Just air is going up through there like it's supposed to. Now I'm going to put my finger over this hole. Let's see what happens. Here it goes. See that how it toppled just like they said, but it's, they said it froze with ice crystals. Too much restriction right there. When you go with the big outlet. That's why their first ones failed for a couple reasons. That's how I feel anyways. So let's check out my plan. Okay. Here's just a rough thing of my system. This would be a giant bow head, 75 feet tall. This here represents the BOP now, 50 feet, 54 feet. This thing, 75 feet, it'll just cover it, plus have 20 some feet to embed, be impacted by the air hammer into the ocean floor, totally encasing the BOP assembly okay check this one out the experiment here's the dome at the seabed floor this can of mud seabed floor there sitting on the seabed floor right cool right doesn't take anything to pick it up but now we're going to put the air hammer to work. Turn on the air hammer. High impact, man. Air hammers are great. They will... <laughs> Just drove it down. Oh, man. Look at the stick there. Takes like a tremendous amount of lifting force. See? And there's not even... But that that much sideways holding force that's how my bell system will work the riser pipe nothing's going to stand a chance against this it's going to get broken cramped it'll be inside here let me lift this up boom it takes a lot of pull man I wish I had a weight scale see that why you want the air hammer to drive this thing into the soil or the ocean floor it's amazing how that crazy thing works 
I've seen it work in action. Okay. Okay, this is going to represent the riser that fell, busted, fell to rig. Something like that. So, I'm going to have a riser. And you pull the straw off though. Okay, let's say that's the riser coming off the well. It's a bunch of leaks further down. It's really not going to matter much. Because when the big giant bell head comes down with the impact action, it's just going to crush anything in its path. But right here, the BOP system has to be enclosed because uh, you never know what will happen. Case in point, just to show you, what if when the bow head came down, the riser shot up all crazy and busted the BOP valves or something important? So if we conceal the BOP, protect it, that's just a safeguard we'll put into place. Just in case. We don't know if it'll happen like that or not. But there you see my plan. A big giant bow head. With the BOP assembly on top. And reverse circulation drill pipe. That's another thing I'll explain. The bow head will come down. Crush or sever the riser pipe and get impacted into the seabed floor. Now the whole BOP faulty one's contained right there and everything's flowing up here. You have a working BOP to shut the system out or else you could flow straight up that pipe and be operational. You know on here it looks easy but it's a way way complex system. It won't take a group of engineers to really do it, man. But it can be done. So, hopefully, I explained almost everything. Let me show you about reverse circulation. Okay, let me use this here. Reverse circulation drill pipe has a pipe inside a pipe. Like that. And uh, there's threads on both, and you could tear them up at the same time. And the cuttings and everything go through the center one up. It's almost like a vacuum cleaner going down, <sighs> sucking everything. It's way cool. Reverse circulation is. That's what we need. Reverse circulation system. So the oil is going to come up the inner pipe, which would be the straw. And then the room between the straw and the outer pipe, your annulus, that'll give you a place and an opportunity to pump your kill mud, your methanol, if you don't want the well to freeze, or your cement to kill the well. You know, it's not that complicated. Totally cap the well. Okay, that's my experiment.